Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Deltry, and welcome back to the moment you've all been waiting for. That's right, Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3, Rio Vanis Castle. It is time to do this, and I think we can. Please, oh please, just let me get this in one. First thing we're gonna do with my genes, we're gonna turn him into a chemist. We're gonna do this because I... I don't know, man. I think th this has the best equipment draw for the fight coming up. And I will say right now that I'm actually glad that a lot of other people had trouble with the previous map. But if I have any luck, we should be able to get this in one. If I have any luck at all. Now, it is going to be a little bit RNG dependent because, quite frankly, the first part of this next fight always is. There's a number of reasons for that. We'll see when we see it. But we're actually going to buy defense up at this point because we actually earned enough JP for the previous two fights in order to buy that. And that's going to be very useful right here. Now, for secondary, we're going to do guts. This part is actually pretty important. Now, what do we have for items right now? Chocobo gun, black hood. No, we don't really need the power sleeves. There's something better. Ah, the judo outfit. We want this because it stops instant death. Actually, we're gonna take her out of this class. We're gonna turn her into a white mage. Yeah, that seems to make the most sense. I, I wanna break the boss's stats, basically, but if we do that, uh, the intention would be to survive, right? So, that in mind, we're gonna need some white magic as well to keep ourselves topped off. Where is the dang old? Wizard staff, yeah. I don't actually have a wizard rod, otherwise I'd probably be making her a black mage instead. Back to a dancer for sure. For sure. We're still gonna want the dance command just to get a little bit of extra chip on some of these guys, because I imagine that uh, some of the enemies should survive pretty easily. But in theory, we should be able to put them in range of the rest of our group by using with Nibus a little bit. And she also might have enough JP. I'm just seeing if there's any strength boosters here. No, we, we didn't get the bag, basically. Th there's a certain bag you can get that will boost up her strength. But I want to see those. If, yeah, we can buy Disillusion. And that's a spell, or that's a dance, rather, that breaks the enemy's magic. Only one point at a time, but if it goes off, then that's pretty good. Uh, CT save for you, throw item or equip armor. We're going to go with equip armor. We want some bulk on this next one, for sure. Because the boss is incredibly powerful right off the bat. And with Yurchel, we're going to give him... Uh, I'm really tempted to get precision on him still, but I don't know who else would be doing the battle skilling. So we'll do that, and we also want to do this anyways because having somebody who has good compatibility with Virgo do the breaking is ideal because it gives us better hit rates, basically. Yep, this is looking as good as it's going to get, honestly. So let us see if we can't pull this off. Like I say, though, there's going to be a little bit of luck to this because the first part of this fight involves a lot of proc skills. Namely, skills that can add confusion, instant death, which is why we have the judo outfit, so that we can't die instantly at the very least. Uh, but not only is there instant death, there's confusion, there's death sentence, which is basically a good game if that happens. A uh, stop. Stop is another really bad one. So there's lots of ways that this can go wrong without us really having too much control over that, and it's really next to impossible to prevent every possible status at the same time. And also have a viable setup that can actually win the fight. So, not really a whole lot you can do about that, honestly. And I don't even think there's any armor that we can get easily, anyways, that can prevent stop. Not at this point. Is there? Am I Am I just tweaking? I might be, but... At any rate, what's this? Hey, I haven't even been here yet. How are these guys already dead? Oh, goddammit, Weegref! This guy again. There you are, my G. All right, let's end it. Draw your sword, my G. Wait, is that a gun? What's wrong? If you don't, I will. Yeah, I like how this is supposed to be an honorable one-on-one -on -one duel, but we're just going to shoot him to death. <laughs> how miserable you are. Giving your spirit to Lukabi just to avenge yourself. If Maluda knew about this, she'd be very disappointed. Revenge? <laughs> That's not what I'm after. I want far more than that. I don't give a damn about Maluda's murder, so you can see how far gone he is. Because at first, that's all he cared about. But at this point, it's more of a power thing to him, I really want to say. He's truly corrupted at this stage. Which, I, I think that makes Weegrep a very interesting character, because you can just see this whole arc with him, right? At first, he's just... He's sort of misunderstood in a way, or maybe that's not the word. He's He's got this resolve, right? He wants to make a change. And the way he goes about that is by forming the Death Corps, right? He's the leader. But after the Death Corps crumbles, he sort of loses a lot of purpose in his life, especially considering the fact that we killed his sister along the way as well. 
So he's, he's like this individual who's lost, and he's able to gain back some of his self-confidence by joining the Shrine Knights. And even then, he's still working towards his goals. He just, he's kind of broken in a way because he believes that the only way to make a real change is to have the sort of power that the Shrine Knights can give him. And then after defeating him the second time, he gives up all sense of self by fusing with the Lukavi. And you can see the impact that all of these events have had on his character as well. So I think Weegraf is a very strong uh, personality, a very strong character, in my opinion. I want to bring chaos into the world, to hear the screams of humans. Yeah, you can see he's just, he's lost his mind. <laughs> this guy's gone ape shit. But don't worry, my G, I'll kill you, myself. Maybe, maybe, it really just depends. Conditions for winning, defeat Weegraf, finally. So I think we need to shoot him about three times, but that's easier said than done. You don't actually have to kill him, you just have to drop him into crit. And here comes our first roll. Please, oh please, do not get me with the death sentence. He actually misses outright, so that's very good for us. I do have auto potion, I do have defense up. Uh, so we, we're, we're pretty well prepared for this, and I have guts as well, because that's going to give us haste, which is going to give us a second turn on this guy right now, I think. Assuming that we don't move, which of course we didn't. We didn't just for the purpose of doing exactly this. And now we're going to go for cheer up on ourselves and then not move again. Because this is going to get, it's going to give us CT advantage basically. Because that's the big thing here. You don't want to go one for one with this guy. You want to try and double turn him. And that's when we're going to be getting our hits in basically. Or so goes my theory. Now this could be bad if it gets a confusion. Because here comes a holy explosion. And there it is. Nothing we can do about that. You can't possibly equip yourself to be ready for every status he can hit you with. It just can't happen. You can't do it. There's no possible way. Because what setup would even stop Death Sentence uh, Confusion Stop, which again, I don't think you can actually block at this point. How would you stop that and death at the same time and then still be able to beat him maybe there's something I'm missing but I certainly don't have the ability maybe well let, let me actually double check before I'm talking out of my ass but I, I genuinely do believe that the first part is just RNG basically uh well let's let's double check the bad is don't act don't move and that would be a lot of HP loss so that's really no good yeah, that's the other thing. You also have to be bulky enough to not get one shot, basically. Yeah, there's actually not any possible way that you could block every status. It's actually not possible at all. Oh, the Jade Arm block stops, so I guess there's always that. But it wasn't stop that killed us, it was confusion. And assuming that the only confusion blocker we have is an accessory, then you couldn't block them all anyways. I mean, we can't use the barret, obviously. So yeah, there's actually no way to block all of the status effects, which is a uh, pretty bad design, honestly. But there's nothing we can do. We just have to kind of take our chances. There's always the abandoned strategy you can try to do, and ho hopefully just dodge all of his attacks, which is probably a little bit more consistent overall, if not for the fact that sometimes he spawns with concentrate. And if your whole strategy is to use abandoned, then you automatically lose if he has concentrate, basically. So, uh, yeah, I don't really like to rely on that one. Because it's basically a coin flip right from the start. If he has concentrate, then you might as well just reset on the spot, if that was your whole plan. Alright, let's see it. Maybe it would be worth having the Jade Armlet, though, just to not get, uh, stop. Yeah, this time he does not have attack up. Clearly he did the first time. And there goes the auto potion. It also helps to actually get that, <laughs> obviously. Because we don't have to get auto potion. What is his setup here, anyways? He has no reaction at all. What? How very strange. Very strange. Hmm. Well, he has martial arts this time, so there's always that. That's not a very threatening thing for him to have. He does have punch art, or punch skill, as it's called for him for some reason. But that's easily the least of your worries, honestly. Now, it might honestly help to have more evasion just because there's always the chance that we could dodge, but... Like I say, it's just a coin flip, because if he has Concentrate, then that's... Oh my god, come on, game. 
<sighs> yeah, I really don't care for any of the 1v1s, to be honest. Because they all kind of have this similar issue where stuff like that just happens randomly and you can't do anything about it. You don't have any kind of fallback, really. Bow, 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 bow. Okay. Now, if we can get past this first part, goddamn. That's kind of the thing. You either... Well, actually, no, there's really no thing. It's just it's just RNG. This is an RNG fight. Straight up. No matter how you want to spin it, that's just kind of the reality. Either on the battle or with whatever he spawns, right? Because, again, he can, he can come with a number of things. I think he has the exact same setup this time, so that's good at least. But... It's not like it makes a huge difference. Not really. Let's see it. Okay, cool. So now we probably can start shooting him. Which is what we want. Now let's see. If I wait in place, will I outspeed him? No, I will not. But I also can't escape him either. So I'm just going to shoot once and then wait in place again. The stones are evil. And so are the Zodiac Braves. The legend we believed in were all lies. <laughs> so much for God's miracle. Governments falsify history only so it favors them. But you can't blame them, because people always hope for a miracle. Endlessly complaining, lazy nuisances, that's what the masses really are. Governments give the people what they want, and history repeats itself. Governments might well have taken advantage of their insecurity. But then again, people are satisfied being used. God is nothing but an image created out of their insecurity. It's their fault for knowing they're comfortably numb and doing nothing about it. And what about you? Whoa, <laughs> I slipped into a different voice there. And what about you? Relying on miracles instead of beating your own insecurities. It's because humans are insecure that they rely on miracles. Can you honestly say you're not with any confidence? I'm trying. Then your efforts have come to an end. Well, not after I shoot you about two more times, bud. Now, I do really like the dialogue in a lot of these battles, though. It's never just fluff. It actually... It, it adds a lot, I think. Oh, I can't shoot him again. Cool. So we're going to shoot him once more. Like so. And now it doesn't really matter what happens as long as I don't get gipped, because one more shot will kill him. Although I actually would like to go... Well, spoiler alert, this is a two-parter, and I would like to go into the next part with haste. Even if I get death sentenced right now, though, it wouldn't really matter like that. Yeah, I do get death sentenced, but that's okay. Because I can end the fight. Although, actually, we didn't... Oh, no. I actually do have to shoot him, don't I? I do actually have to end the fight, don't I? Yeah, I do. So there we go. That's part one. I'm so sure. Yeah, you've improved. Yup, there we go. So this fight is not hard or long at all, it's just RNG. You just need to not get screwed by his procs before you can take him out, basically. And you only have to get him down to like a quarter, so all things considered, that's not bad. Running away. Weegraf! Oh, don't you worry, he'll be back. Come out of there! Weegraf! No, you can stay where you are, man. We're done here, right? <sighs> yeah, you may have noticed that we deployed four other people. <laughs> but they're not here. Let's have it out here. You already know what's about to happen. Man, as a kid, as a kid, this guy right here, this guy right here, Valius, the devil, is sorry to keep you waiting. And now the backup arrives. Okay, good. I put I put Yurchel in a good spot. I see you have some help. Then I'll do the same. Come out, loyal servants. No, don't. Don't come out. Stay right where you are. I don't want any part of this. <sighs> Here I come, my G. Let me show you the power of evil. <sighs> All right. It's a good- I, I really do like this boss music though, it's so good. 
It's so eerie, man. And my G basically always gets the first turn here no matter what because I, I don't know why. I, I honestly think his CT automatically sets to 100 at the start of this fight. Like, even in the original game. So that's good. Oh, no, no, no. We just have it. I see, I see, I see. Well, he's going to be next anyways, probably. Yeah, after Yurchul anyways. Like I said, he does start with extra CT on this fight. So he... Just so I'm not talking out of my ass. Yeah, my G is coming up next. If he had been hasted, he would have gotten a double turn right there. Now, with Yurchul, we're actually going to go all the way in. And we're going to break the hell out of uh, Baileus right now. 73% of the time, anyways. We got him, I think. Yeah, cool. So we need to do that like twice <laughs> because he's so goddamn strong. Yep, there goes the Petrify. So that's a really bad start, to say the least. But I can just throw a soft right now, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And we also need to spread out the rest of our units because Valius has summon magic and he's not afraid to use it at all. So I don't want to give him a huge area of effect, basically. Now, my G is actually going to die immediately on the next turn, which sucks. If we didn't start by getting Death Sentence, that might have helped. But, uh, alas. Now, I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Interesting that he went for Yurchul over everything that he could have done. Here comes a Giga Flare. Now, this is an instant cast magic spell. I think that those, uh, those undead on the forest map actually did have this ability, but they just never used it for some reason. Give me that CT save. Yeah, that's more like it. Now, what we really want to do is kill some of these archaic demons. I genuinely believe that if I heal Yurchul somehow, he will not die to Titan. But I don't think that I can. Which could be an issue, to say the least. Yeah, I was just making sure that I couldn't somehow clear Death Sentence. Uh, I do want to do this, though, because... In theory, this will put him in range of a Holy, or like a Mjolnir, or something. And the beginning of this fight is going to be very tight, I can tell you that without a doubt. We're going to go for a disillusion now, though. I really, really need to break the magic of Baileus. Goodbye, my G. Oh, no, no, no. It's not his turn. Never mind. He's going to die on his next turn, though, immediately. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Well, I'll tell you what. We have two options. We either heal back. We either heal back MCP a fair bit, or we kill this guy. Or nearly kill this guy. That death sentence actually might be the enemy. Thinking about it. I could have played around that better. Most definitely. But the big trick is just not falling over to this initial turn, basically. And you absolutely do need to stack the debuffs on to Bailey use ASAP though. Like that part is uncontested. That just has to happen. 100%. 100%. There's not an alternative. Thankfully, though, MCP will survive this, and if he gets the old CT save, we might be able to do some cheeky stuff. I don't know, I guess we'll just have to see. Here comes our first disillusion. It helps if we hit the ultimate demons, too. Or not ultimate demons, they're archaic demons, excuse me. Any kind of hits here are good. We hit everybody but Valius, naturally, but... <laughs> well, this guy's gonna be so low. Anything at all will kill him. And with that disillusion, he still cannot kill MCP. I'm so sure. I'm so sure that he cannot. They're gonna need some help to do it. It does, however, look like... Hmm. No, no, no. He can reach. He can definitely reach. Alright, so... We're gonna get damage on these two. 48 and 72. That's a little bit better. And that would let us kill him as well. With the next holy. Now, if we get this disillusion on Baileus, that would help a lot. Most definitely. There we go. Yeah, they're getting nerfed into the ground. Which is exactly what we want to see. But I'm thinking that Death Sentence is going to be the enemy. If not for that, I'd be picking up Yurchul right here. And he would probably just kill something for me. Because he's pretty goddamn strong. He's only do about 120-ish. Yeah, 128. Not bad, not bad. I think Baileus can only get one of us. He can only get MCP. Oh, never mind. Make me a liar, why don't you? I don't think Ramu will kill her. I genuinely don't. Not after that many breaks. So we need to we need to keep people alive at this point, basically. Without any doubt, my G is gonna die. Goodbye. Oh, oh wow! I didn't know it worked like that. Oh shit! Oh my god, really? 
Oh, I've been playing this wrong. I've definitely been playing this incorrectly. I did not think that. Oh, man. That's so huge. But that's not what I <laughs> that's not what I planned for. He's going to murder me with Giga Flare. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. I thought my G was dead. So you mean to tell me canceling instant death also blocks death sentence? Wow. Holy crap. If I had known that, I would have done this so differently. I would have done this so differently. Oh, man. That's not what I thought. That is not what I thought at all. Okay. Wow. I feel like a moron. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's how it worked this whole time. Can I? Yeah, I can actually get Yurtle back, so we have to do that, I think. Uh, so we get you. We might actually not be done, but... Oh, man, I would have played this so differently. I really would have. But we can at least pick you up. Although, truth be told, if I broke him with Yurtle, I might survive. He charged it on me, right? He's not an idiot? Yeah, he did. He charged it directly on me. I guess he could have... If I would have went for... Oh, I, I am bad. If I would have went for cheer up on myself, I would have lived this. Yeah, that's what I should have done in reality. But Yurgil's coming up next. He's going to kill one of the demons for me. Yeah. Right now. You're going to die. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, so there's one demon left, and we're fairly spread out. There's a Giga Flare to instantly drop me, though. I'm not sure if this could miss or not, but I don't think I have Magic Invasion anyways. But because he did that, instead of taking out Regina, that means she's up next. Look at that guy's sweet jumps. Alright, so I could go for a Cure. Actually, no matter what I do, I'm going to get the next move. Right? That said one turn holy? Yep, one turn holy. Cool. Alright, so we need to be very, very, very careful with this. Well, that's most of his life right there. Which we do want. Now, unfortunately, Yurtle does not have any kind of revival, so... I don't know. It's going to be really tight. It's going to be really, really tight. I can't believe I didn't realize that uh, canceling dead cancels death sentence, too. Miss, miss, miss. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, we get a little bit of a train going here. Start by that. Yeah, I don't know, man. I really don't know, but I think we are at least out of range of the Giga Flare, so there's always that. Yeah, we are, so he has to go for something else. Wait, he has 9 MP, what could that possibly be? Life Breaker? Oh, I forgot he had this skill. Yeah, okay. I'm seeing our mistake. This is, this is definitely workable. God, so I would have, I would have used my G to haste himself. Like I said, I really wanted to go into the next fight with haste intact but I didn't realize yeah and that's charged on me so it's not as though yeah so that was really my one and only mistake right there if I would have went into this fight with haste on my G it would have been a very very simple matter and if it wasn't clear why I didn't try to do that or like make a better effort it's because I thought I was gonna die to death sentence before I got the chance, basically. Like, I couldn't get haste on myself and then also kill Wee Grab. It's what I thought. But clearly that is not the case. So yeah, that was a huge, huge, huge mistake. Huge mistake. Let's see if we can't pull it back. I'm, I'm thinking the answer is no. <laughs> but it's always possible. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just restarting now. I didn't, I didn't think that through correctly. So there's one for the Baileus fight. Fine, you got me once. This time for sure. 100%, without a doubt. So, how do we want to do this? Right, wait with you. 
Somebody should catch a haste. Regina, though, might not be a bad idea, right? Yeah, Yurgil's gonna be... He's gonna play interference, basically. I wouldn't mind having my mage hasted on up, though. I should have definitely bought life with her. I don't know why I didn't. I had the opportunity and everything. Uh... No, we don't need to go all in, though. Right here is close enough. So, mind ruin it is. This is not negotiable. This actually just has to happen. Because I'm pretty sure he just straight up kills some of my characters with Counter Flood. Like, not even not even his big summon spells or anything. Just Counter Flood. That's enough. So, uh, yeah, we don't really want that. I don't believe. He's actually going to come all in this time. But we should have time to spread out, which is all I care about. Oh, he's actually going to go for on uh, Regina. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's not good at all. There's a nice Giga Flare for him, too, but with CT save, that might let us do something. I, I, I don't know what just yet, but it couldn't hurt. It certainly couldn't hurt. But see these auto potions, though. Yep, there's auto potion. Regina was dead no matter what. No CT save, of course. Uh, so what can we do before we die? Wow, that's pathetic. That is absolutely pathetic. But we're going to move the holy, uh, not the holy, but the, uh, the thing. We're going to move it over there. Nice compatibility, Brock. Disillusion, for sure. Without a doubt. We don't want to be bunched up, though, obviously, because, again, those goddamn summons. And I'm pretty sure that just all of the Lukabi have lost, which is really, really annoying. I love to be confused 100% of the time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. At least that guy is spent. So there's always that. <sighs> oh, no, we can get Yurchel back right now. What am I saying? This is exactly what we wanted to see. Because he's going to be getting his turn no matter what. And he should be able to kill something for me. Which is what we need to do, obviously. Uh, and in the meantime... We just need to stay spread out. So Regina's very dead. But she'll be back, don't you worry. Here comes the disillusion. Now, the more of these that land, the better. Preferably on Valius himself. There we go. Eh. Could have been better. More likely than not, that guy that just got hit. Uh, this demon right here. I think he's the one we have to kill, right? Is it bad with Taurus? No, so we can kill him. Is there anybody I actually have good with? Uh, you guys did actually tell me that this will default to bad compatibility for monsters, so we can't go after him with Yurchel, not really. And Libra is also nothing to write home about. No, 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 no. So we need to get some chip. But this guy is dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. 224? Oh, perfect damage. Look at that. Master of exact damage. Amazing. That's what I like to see. Down he goes. There's one problem out of our hair. I want to say that... Hmm. Well, it's kind of hard to say. It's kind of hard to say what the turn order will be, but... I do know that King, uh, I, getting Regina back is a good idea. It just is. We need more targets, more bodies on the field. My G's going to head back up and around this way. I just realized how bad his jump stat is. Yeah, it's really not good, is it? <laughs> Estelle, right there. No need for her to go anywhere. And if we hit Valius again, he'll have lost five magic. Like, just like that. Just like that, he's lost five magic. And that's pretty big. What with his AoEs being absolutely ridiculous. Right here. And wait. Now I wonder, will he go for the combination of Yurchel plus MCP? I would imagine. No, he's going to go for my G. Uh-oh. Oh, and he can still do it. Let's get another disillusion, though. Come on now. Come on now. If we land one more, he lives. Or if he only had full HP, he would live. <laughs> oh, man. Is that a Cyclops, though? Because that's where I'm really watching. I want to see... I want to see just how far gone he is right now. Yeah, that's a Cyclops. We're almost able to live those. We're almost able to live those. So that's really good. 
That's really, really good. Oh, wow. I didn't realize. Ugh, come on. It's not like it's the game's fault or anything. I just didn't think it could reach that far. I guess I should have healed myself. But then Valius could have just killed me anyway, so it's not like... Man. <laughs> By four. God, these dance animations take forever. Okay, now he can't actually kill me from full. Which is good. But good luck getting back to full at this point, no lie. Good, okay. That's what I wanted to see. So if I go for a revive on you... That's really not great, though. I don't know. I really don't. We're just kind of playing it by ear. No, this is what we want to do. We'll revive you with you. Really easy, really easy. He can pick up Regina, and now everybody is back. But we still need to... We need to start making some moves. Regardless. We definitely need to start making some moves. I think if I get a cure, though, that's going to take us out of range for Giga Player. But I don't get it. I don't get it in time. I need to start hurting these guys somehow. Like I have to. And I'm willing to bet. Yeah, I need to move you. Because I'm willing to bet they could Giga Flare if I don't. I'm so sure they could. What is that now? Is there any hope? <laughs> Not you, who has that ever helped? AT. It's a tight. Well, MCP lives for sure, but Virgil's kind of in a reviving loop, which is uh, never any good, really. Let me get this CT save. Finally. Please? I mean... <laughs> no, come on. What is he doing? Are they really going to try to kill him? Yeah, they actually are. Now, if I would have gotten CT save even a single time, I would have been able to move out of the way, I think. At least in the Titan. Because isn't MCP coming up next? Or am I just full of crap? I could just be full of crap. Yep, not a single time. That's amazing. That's, that's absolutely amazing. No, I didn't want to revive Virgil. You're right. I'd actually prefer if he were just dead forever. That would just be better, actually. So joke's on you. Okay, well, my G can't die to a Cyclops now. And he's hasted. We might be able to start pushing back a little bit. I hope. I pray. <laughs> because if I can't die to the Cyclops, then there's no one attack that can kill him, basically. Because that's definitely their strongest move. The problem is that Yurchil is starting to be really low on time here. I mean, I might have to go in, honestly. I need to reset these counters, I think. I hope, I pray. I think so, especially Yurchil though. Like his, his needs to be reset for a fact. So right here, and we can throw this Phoenix down up to him right now. Reset his counter. I mean, he might actually outspeed the Archaic Demon, no lie. It's a, pro it's a possibility. He's not gonna outspeed Valius, but if he can get a go on the Archaic Demon, that would actually turn things around for us. He doesn't. <sighs> On the other hand, these guys can't do crap to my G, so it's not really... I don't know, I don't think we're out of it. I just think it's gonna be a second before things line up, basically. There's one crystal. So of course they're gonna take that from me. So if I go right here and throw out a cure, 
to right here. I don't care if the demon gets it, obviously. It doesn't make any difference since uh, I'm just trying to make sure that we don't lose any of these three at this point. If it didn't kill my G, it will not kill us still. It's impossible. And she has auto potion as well. Let's get it. There we go. That's good. That's exactly what we needed. And if I kill the demons, then we're basically fine. No lie. It's just getting to that point, you know. Yeah, here's the Dark Holy, but my G is A-OK. -okay. If he gets the Auto Potion, that would be better, because I don't want to waste his time. I don't have all that much time to waste. I need to break that loop there. That Revival loop. Uh, I think he can take another one, right? Not quite. Speaking of not quite... Well, Estelle's gonna get a go before any of this becomes an issue. Okay, we can break it. We can actually break it at this point. So I'm just gonna shoot this guy. There's half of his life right there. Uh, when's his next move? 28. If I don't move, I'll get the next turn on him. I'll for sure get the turn on him. And since Estelle is back to full, we can pick you up. And now we can start our offensive. Finally. Finally. Drop this guy immediately. Immediately. And then get off of this tile because I, I'm tired of having two people dropped at once. That's a huge issue, actually. So we're going to move all the way over here. Uh, my G can still revive if need be. We'll be able to get a cure in before a Cyclops or anything like that. There's no possible way. It really didn't do a whole lot to her the first time, so it shouldn't do much of anything this time either. And look at this. My dancer is the tank. My dancer is the tank. How did it come to this? <laughs> She's doing such a good job, though. Like, really? Oh, man. We turned it around. We turned it around. And... Urgil does a million damage to Bilius. Like, a million. So, assuming we can catch him mid charge, she'll do like 400. No lie. There we go. Auto potion. She can take quite a few of these. We didn't miss your turn. Good. Right here. And now it's starting to look way better. It's starting to look way better. We could, we can, uh, we can throw a cure out to these guys too. Yeah, like that. And I'm actually gonna, uh, I'm actually gonna stay right here and just X potion myself. So now we should have a ton of HP. It's gonna take a lot to drop him again, especially because he doesn't have particularly good faith. So they're gonna really struggle to do a lot of magical damage to him, basically. Yeah. So he's back to like 200 ish which is plenty uh, you're we're gonna actually wait with you just a little bit just a little bit now do I want to start hmm, I could start breaking its magic again but I don't really know that I need to yeah I don't really know that I need to so I'm actually just gonna move here and heal up his magic is low enough that he shouldn't be too much of a threat at this point, but I don't want to break it to the point that he uses nothing but status effects. That would be the worst. That would be the worst possible outcome. Yeah, he can't even kill MCP. By himself, anyways. With that Giga Flare, maybe. Uh, maybe I should have healed MCP with Estelle. Because I don't foresee myself getting another move in time. I really don't. If he gets CT save, though... Finally, uh, is that gonna be enough though? Probably not. I'm gonna move back this way because I think even Yurchel has the potential to survive. My reactions are just, they're just not happening today at all. Not at all. I need you way healthier. Way, way, way healthier. Right there. And you're actually gonna move away because you are way too close to Bailius now and I'm not trying to have that. No, no. Just waiting for this to light up. God damn, dude. We actually need to break him one more time. If Yurchel wants to survive. That's fine. Okay, that's all we wanted to see. Oh, she's actually gonna go for two. I don't know, man. Two might be too much. Miss him, miss him, miss him. Uh-oh. 
I really, really don't want to see him start going for, like, petrifying crap. That would be more annoying, actually. Okay, we do like that. Review right here. And now we are fine with you. For the time being. Okay, so we've almost maneuvered ourselves back into a winning position here. I'm not showing all of this because honestly it's just incredibly boring to watch. There's no way. There's no way I'm showing all of this. Because stuff like this. Because he's just going to kill Yurgil right now. And then I'm just going to spend my next moves getting him back. And then we're just going to rinse and repeat until he stops killing me basically. As you can see these guys do zero damage at this point though. Uh, you can see we do a million damage to this guy, though. He, he just does so much. So very much. Uh, but that said, I'm actually going to throw at this guy instead so that I can just shoot him one more time and have him die. I'm so tired of these goddamn demons. There we go. And now, finally, like half an hour later, I can start attacking this guy. Oh, wow. I did not see that coming. I'll tell you that. All right, he can life break me though. Yeah. Oh, but thankfully he's bad at the game. Phew. <laughs> okay, so I just shoot him and then that's no longer an issue. Okay, finally. Now we win. Like, 100% guaranteed. There's no way to throw at this point. I really doubt it. I really, really doubt it. The biggest thing is just killing those three demons. Like, look at how pathetic his summons are now. You call that damage. 48, and you call yourself a boss. You call yourself a boss. I don't know. I guess they let anybody be a Lukavi these days. Crazy. I hope I don't run out of Phoenix Downs, though, because there's still one more fight. Although that next one is, like, so fast and dirty, it's like, whatever. I can't see myself going through a bunch of healing items there, really. Honestly, I'm just going to start hitting him. So what if he counter floods? I can just revive. He does, I don't care. Not really. He only does 48 at this point, so it's very easy to survive those. Uh, let's see, should this, yeah, this takes two. This actually takes two turns, which is exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, so we do like one of these. Throw the cure right there. Move in my G. Nope, right here, bud, right here. And this is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now we are good. We're absolutely good. I don't think he can kill me with anything in one single hit. So we might start seeing, oh god, I've just done it. I've just given him a loss. If he has it. If he wants to go for it anyways. He probably will because I don't think he can kill me. So I'm actually trash. Depending on how smart the AI is. Oh, he can always punch me to death, I guess. I don't really want to break his attack though because... I don't really want to give him any reason to start going for his nastier attacks, basically. I don't want to give him any reason at all. Uh, if I do that, I'm doing it as a side shot, for sure. Now, Lost actually has no vertical tolerance at all, so I'm basically fine to do this forever. As long as I don't have two people uh, adjacent to each other, basically. And I'll just chakra right now, get back in the game a little bit. And spread the hell out. Now what will he do? A seal. However, that doesn't really matter all that much because he can't do this like forever. Uh, I'm actually going to revive my G. Yeah, I'll just uh, not, not revive. I like how she passes through him. Like, oh, excuse me. Uh, we'll restore him though with this song. And he can't petrify Regina. He also can't petrify MCB because they're immune. And yeah, we do miss our turn, but so what? I actually just haste myself. Move out of the way so we can't be lost. He's kind of running in the opposite direction of what I was hoping. Because ideally, I can start throwing out some holies and crap. Which is what I'm going to try to do. He's just going to keep doing this. Alright, here we go. Now we're back to full. And haste on your tool. So here's the thing, right? You guys have seen the whole fight. This isn't going to suddenly change, like, halfway through it or anything. Nope, this is the whole thing. This is it. 100%. So, uh, highlight real time. Yeah, as if we haven't been doing that this whole time. 
I actually kind of prefer to be petrified there. In a weird kind of way. 120, that's not bad. Yeah, that's good enough damage for me. Definitely good enough for me. And another one. Ooh, 270. That's really good damage. Hell yeah. Basically, the main thing with this one is just to be ready for Petrify, though. As long as you're ready for Petrify, you're fine. If you're not, you're screwed, probably. Because just about every single tile on this map gives his reaction a Petrify chance, I do believe. Oh, no, he does die. Oh, well. And once again, being able to break his stats obviously pretty nice, too, because now we're not dying to every single hit. Whereas that first Cyclops is doing like 300 damage to my team, which is, yeah, that's that's too much. That's too much to be sure. It also really helps that most of my team has good compatibility with this guy, which is why we're doing so much damage to begin with. It's like the polar opposite of the first fight, man. Kecklin, no, we had like worse with him on just about everybody, but my team murders Virgos. And uh, that would include Valius. For some reason he's a Virgo, you'd think he'd be like an Ares because he's a Ram, but no! so bad <laughs> and just make sure you don't give him loss basically that's all you have to do because the loss will lead to one for sure I guess he doesn't have a whole lot of brave either because he doesn't seem to be getting counter flood every single time kind of fitting kind of fitting you could almost say it's like a statement on we actions right not a very brave thing to go the route that he did you know Can I make that shot, do you think? Yup, cool. Any minute now. Any minute now. And MCP can't be petrified, so it's whatever. Yeah, those jade armlets, that's exactly why I picked them up, for this fight specifically. Ooh, nice. Nice, that's gonna speed things up a little bit. I, guess, I really wish I would have been smart enough to bring life, though, because I'm kind of worried about running out of Phoenix Downs, I won't lie. I probably won't, but I could. There's the loss. Yeah, I was afraid of that, but what could I do? I needed the MP back. Besides, Estelle can just pop Regina, so it's fine. Oh, it's her turn, so never mind. Somebody can just pop somebody, though. Oh, wow, that helps a lot. <laughs> How about that? It wouldn't have mattered. I could have easily broken that. Here comes Estelle, who can do it right now if I wanted to. And I also have Throw Stone on my Jeep. We will just hang out, though. I'm actually going to have MCP break it because uh, he can move out of the way so that it doesn't happen again, basically. Everybody, everybody's coming up. Oh, man. Yeah, so let's move her back. Now, Lost doesn't have a vertical tolerance of any kind, so even the difference between Regina and Estelle right there is more than enough to make it safe. Oh, he's dead. He's dead, and I didn't fast forward through any of it. <laughs> I really don't think this fight is that hard. I genuinely don't. Whoa, man. They're just humans, man. <laughs> hey, you put some respect on my G's name. So, Yurch will definitely carry this one in terms of damage. A uh, little bit of help from Regina and MCP. Being immune to Petrify, pretty good there, too. I definitely think the hardest part, though, is just killing those demons. Once you kill the demons, as long as you're prepared for everything within Valius' toolkit, you're fine. Uh, so that would be breaking his magic so the Cyclops doesn't wreck you immediately. Because I, I don't see a very good way to tank that forever. <laughs> I mean, even if you had the tankiest of tanky setups. His magic is just through the roof. We broke it, like, what, seven times in total before it finally became safe? So, that's step number one. Step number two would be to just not give him free lost spells or uh, free petrifies. So, have having a few people who are actually immune to petrify. In my case, I had, Re not Regina, I had Estelle and MCP. So, they were both immune to that. So, I could never be petrified with my whole team at the same time. Which is the big thing. It also obviously really helps if the people who are immune to petrify can clear petrify. Naturally. But yeah, not really a terrible fight, in my opinion. Just a lot of patience. Patience is the key. Because I, like, I don't know how much I showed of it, but... 
There was a really long loop in there where I was just trying to get Yurchel back on his feet, and I knew it was possible. I didn't give up, right? I knew that he would eventually break out of that revival loop, but it's just, you have to be patient. You have to wait for the exact right moment. And uh, if you can do that, though, I don't think it's too bad. I really don't. Alma. Nobody's got time for that, my G. We're going to save and we're going to call it here because if, <laughs> if you thought I really want to go for another luck-based mission, uh, you would be wrong. You would be you would be dead wrong. Oh, yeah. So congratulations. I'll take that 12k. Oh, a knight sword. The defender. Cool. I didn't realize we got one so soon. But is that it? Is there more story or can I be done? <laughs> of course there's more story. Oh, God. His loot got messed up. Jesus Christ, no wonder Alma was screaming. Good God, look at this guy. That's kind of graphic, actually. This game is hardcore for adults only. And for mature. Ugh. Ugh. Man, that hurt. Are you alright? What do you think, Alma? That's the sword. Where is it? Must beat him. Please give me some light. It's so dark. Can't see a thing. Don't worry, there's no need to fight anymore. Tell your brother the stone has evil power. Oh, I think he knows. He's not my father. The power made him Lukavi. Bleh. Bleh. God, he really got messed up, huh? So I assume that Islu tried to fight Vormab, right? And, uh, yeah, this is the result. Vormab's probably the strongest one. I mean, maybe not in terms of his fight, but, like, just in terms of the story. He's, he's like, the strongest one by far. He's, like, the the ringleader, basically. Please don't try to talk. What my G said was true. The world will end if we don't kill him. Tell everyone, not time to fight. Must cooperate. Where's my sword? I can't move my arms. Don't worry. I saw his body in the hall. My brother killed him, so you don't need to fight. Really, that's a relief. The stone is in my jacket. Give it to your brother. Uh, wrong Lukavi, Alma. I guess she wouldn't know, though, right? So if you saw Valius' dead body, then, like... I don't know. I don't know. Just kind of unlucky. We must have just barely missed each other, I guess. I'll be sure to do that. Uh, tired. Sleepy. Just rest now. Yeah, he got messed up like nothing else, which is pretty crazy considering his stats. Who's there? Ah, uh, god damn it. So, here you are. I'll send you to the other side, too. No, please don't. Don't fear. You won't suffer. Not like what I did to my kid. Oh, man, you should have heard him scream. He sounded like a bitch. That's not very nice, you know. <laughs> what? Vilius was killed. He can just sense that, I guess. Your brother has the devil's own luck. A little bit on the nose there. Now come here. Why is Virgo responding? You can't be. Very nice. I didn't expect to meet you here. I thought it would take a hundred years to find you. I never dreamed you were the one. Stop. Let go of me. No need to fear. I won't kill you. Now come here. <laughs> These gut punches, man. And naturally, just like every other villain, he can teleport. <sighs> oh my G. But anyways, that is going to do it for me. So thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Next time we are going through RNG Hell Part 2, and I will catch you guys on the next one. See you then. Peace. Like, comment, subscribe.